Hi, Ben here from Trident and Fly Fishing. If you've ever fished for cold water species, you're probably familiar with waders. In this video, we're gonna tell you how to choose your next pair. Stay tuned. When it comes right down to it, waders are designed to do one thing, keep water, especially cold water, from hitting your legs. Some waders do that better than others, but by and large, they all get the job done. And in this video, we're gonna go over six different factors that are gonna help you choose your next pair of waders. And number one is going to be length. And fundamentally, waders come in three different lengths. Chest waders that come up to, you guessed it, your chest. Mid-length waders or wading pants that unsurprisingly come up to your waist like most pants. And then hip waders, which sort of slide in right below the pant level. So they're gonna be anywhere at the mid thigh length or higher. Chest waders are gonna be your most popular option and almost all the waders we sell here at Trident are chest waders. And there's good reason for that. They offer your body the most protection from the elements. They're gonna keep you warm and dry all the way up to here. Not only that, they've got tons of pockets and room for all of your gadgets and anything you might need for a day of fishing. But there are times, especially when it gets really warm out, that maybe those chest waders are gonna be just a little bit too warm. And that's why you have wading pants. These are gonna be great if you've got cold water and really warm temps because you're not gonna have that extra layer of Gore-Tex or some other material covering extra parts of your body. But wading pants are way less popular because they just lack some of the versatility of chest waders. You're limited on how far and how deep you can wade simply by the length. And hip waders are like a more extreme version of wading pants. They're even shorter and will heat you up even less than those wading pants. Unfortunately, or fortunately, you don't really see a lot of hip waders these days. And in fact, we don't even sell a pair of hip waders at Trident. They're almost just like long boots. Up next is gonna be materials, and waders these days are made of a variety of different materials. But fundamentally, all of the waders we sell at Trident are gonna be what are known collectively as breathable waders. So in the past, Waders were largely made of neoprene, which did a great job of keeping water out, but also kept sweat, and there was a lot of it, in. And breathable waders, on the other hand, unsurprisingly, breathe. They're made from a membrane that's gonna allow air to pass through while keeping the water out. And there are lots of options when it comes to breathable membranes, but definitely the most famous and maybe the most popular is gonna be Gore-Tex. They developed the waterproof membrane years and years ago, and you can get that in waders from Sims and Grundens and others today, and they are a super high quality option when it comes to breathability. In addition to Gore-Tex, there are lots of other options in breathable membranes that are maybe a little bit less well known, but also get the job done. There's H2NO and there's Cordura, and all of these are gonna be similar to Gore-Tex in that they have that breathability, but they're gonna lack that Gore-Tex branding. And in our experience, Gore-Tex tends to be a little bit more durable as a material than some of the other options. Up next is gonna be the choice between a boot foot wader and a stocking foot wader. And a boot foot wader has boots built into the foot, whereas a stocking foot wader doesn't. And we've actually done a whole video on this topic. I'm just gonna point you in the direction of the description below. We're, we're gonna have a link so you can check that out. But the bottom line is, get a pair of stocking foots. Up next is gonna be features. And when it comes to waders, you've got a couple of considerations, but the, perhaps the most important and most relevant is going to be zippers. And yes, you can get a pair of waders that has a zipper. And chest waders in particular benefit greatly from this. They zip from about here down to here. And the fundamental role of these zippers is to make getting these waders on or taking them off way easier. And I've been wearing zippered waders for years and years at this point, and I can tell you they work really well. I've never had a leak and they make getting in and out so, so easy. But there are gonna be other considerations for features as well. Waders these days are now coming with knee pads. So if you're fishing that hyper-technical tailwater stream, you can get on your knees and make that cast at a low angle while having that added durability on your wader. Another consideration is gonna be gravel guards. And 
sure, you can buy those after the fact, but they're also a really nice feature to have built in, so you're not getting stones in your waiting boots. There's also a lot of variety in terms of storage in your waders. Some people like to store everything in their waders. Some people, like me, prefer to store them in a pack. So rather than go through all of the possible storage options out there, just know that if you want to keep stuff in your waiter, there's probably going to be a waiter or a brand that's going to offer you that, whereas some others are going to be leaner and a lot more minimalist. And last but not least on the features is going to be layers of material. And when it comes to layers, we're really talking about layers of Gore-Tex or layers of Cordura or any other membrane. And the idea behind all of these multiple layers is the more layers you have, the more durable that fabric is going to be. So these Sims G4Zs have four or five layer material all the way in the legs so that as you're going through that brush, you're not going to have to worry about puncture holes. On the other hand, you want less material up top because that's going to allow for more breathability and keep you more comfortable on the water. I wanted to briefly interrupt this review to let you know that this video is supported 100% by your purchases at Trident Fly Fishing. So if you're in the market for some new tackle, check us out at tridentflyfishing.com. And now let's talk about how to get the perfect fit for your next pair of waders. Fundamentally, you're gonna to wanna to know three things. One is gonna be your largest girth. That's gonna be the bigger of your chest and waist, your inseam, which is gonna be your crotch to the floor, a little bit longer than your pant size, and your shoe size. Once you know those three numbers, just take a look at the size chart for the waders you're interested in, and it should be pretty straightforward. Now that we've got your size from that chart, it's time to place that order, get your waders, and try them on. And once your waders arrive and you're trying them on, it's really important to make sure that you're wearing all of the layers that you're gonna wanna wear with those waders at that time. A jacket or two or three can add a lot of girth to those waders. And while most brands are designed to accommodate a jacket or two, if you're really a person that gets cold and wears a lot under their waders, you might need to size up. And as far as length, I like to do what's called the chair test. And the chair test is pretty simple. You just put your waders on with all of your layers and take a seat. And if that feels pretty comfortable, you're gonna stand up and then put one foot on top of the chair. Think of it as a way of demonstrating a strenuous hiking maneuver right in your house. If that waiter's the right length, it should be easy to put your foot up on that chair, but you shouldn't have too much extra material left over either. And last but not least is gonna be pricing, and waiters start out at about $100 and go up to about $1,000. So there's a really wide range. But your entry-level waiter is going to be made of single or double layer fabric, not as durable as a high-end waiter, and it's gonna have fewer and fewer of those features that we talked about. It's really gonna be a bare bones waiter versus a fully featured waiter. And as you get to the really high end of the price range, you're gonna see four and five layer fabrics, zippers, and everything you could ever want in a pair of waders. And if you're still not sure how to choose your next pair of waders, give us a call here at Trident. We've got a team of fly fishing experts ready to help you out. And don't forget to leave a comment in the box below with your favorite pair of waders. I'm Ben, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.